We are less than two weeks away from Google's yearly developer conference, and many people are wondering what exactly will be announced. It had been rumored that Material Design 3 was going to make an appearance, and while that is still true, the company actually published a blog post early, and it's given us a peek as to what is to come. In this blog post, we were told that a research team at Google had begun to study the user sentiment of material design elements within its own first-party applications. And the one thing that kept popping up time and time again was how the apps either looked so similar, they looked so boring, or that it felt as if they were just blurring them all together. And that makes sense. Styles and elements of material design in general are set up in a way to make the application look clean and organized while bringing it into the real world, so to speak, by using the hovered cards and shadows to simulate depth. But that's about all there was to it. Some were not happy with how sterile the design looked, but honestly, it was better than the mess we had been seeing with third-party application developers. Now, since 2022, the research team at Mountain View went through 46 different research studies looking for the next evolution of material design. And after listening to over 18,000 participants from all around the world, they have now come up with what they are calling Material Design 3, or Material 3 Expressive. Now, you can tell by that intro, the reason why Material 3 Expressive was created was due to how similar apps started to look and how boring some people thought they were. And with the way that Google went about this evolution of material design, this updated style is rooted in actual research and it's been built on usability best practices that we've come to expect with modern software. The post goes on to talk about how Material 3 Expressive is meant to make you feel something. It's built in a way that enables the developer to inspire emotion, giving them tools that communicate function, and attempt to give the design style a soul in general. They go on to say the fundamental parts of expressive design includes the use of color, size, motion, and containment, which if used properly, should make the application more usable by drawing the user's attention to what matters most. While we're less than two weeks away from the start of Google I.O. 2025, I highly recommend anyone interested in this new design style to check out that leaked blog post. Naturally, Google ended up taking it down when they discovered that it had been published way too early, but you can find a cached copy on the Wayback Machine, courtesy of the Internet Archive. And I'll be sure to include that link down in the video description below, as well as the pinned comment here, so that it's easy for everyone to find. I would just be very interested in hearing what you all think about expressive design making its way into the heart of material design. And please, do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Android news content like this.